Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial video hosted by Adam Pierce of Strawberry 7. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways of doing something quite useful in Excel, which is taking data that's in one column and separating it out into two separate columns. Let me give you a perfect example of why you might need to use this. In this Excel document here, you can see that we have one column which is titled name. And in this column, we have four names, but the names are first name and last name all together in one column. Well, what happens if we want to have the first name and the last name separated? We can use a couple of really useful functions to do this rather than us having to retype this manually. Let's look at the first one now. To begin with, select the names that you wish to separate. Then click Data. And then click Text to Columns. It will now ask you some questions. We say Delimited, which as you can see here, uses commas, tabs, or some kind of separate to understand where the break is in the data and where to put it into different columns. We click Next. We now have the option for the delimiter. In our case, there's a space between the names. You might have different data. For example, each name, each part of the name might be separated by a comma or a semicolon, in which case you would tick the appropriate box. In most cases, though, it's probably going to be a space. Click Next. You now have various conditional formats that you can put onto the data. For example, if it's a date um, or if it has certain text criteria. We're not going to change any of that. We're simply going to click Finish. And now we have our data separated into two different columns exactly as we wanted. And we could rename this to first name and the next column we could rename to last name. Now let's have a look at another way of separating the data. This method is a lot more long winded and involves typing out a fairly complicated um, function. But this might be useful if for some reason your version of Excel doesn't support the text columns feature. So in this case, we're going to put the first name here and the last name here. So start off in this column by typing equals left bracket, select the cell, comma, search, bracket, quote, space, quote, comma, select the cell, close bracket, minus one, close bracket and hit enter. You'll now see that the first name appears here. To do the last name, we do equals right, bracket, select the cell, comma, len, bracket, select the cell, close bracket, minus, search, bracket, quote, space, quote, comma, select the cell, close bracket, close bracket, enter. And there we have our two names. Now we don't have to enter this each time. If you click in the bottom right of the cell where you see this black cross appear, you can click, hold down and drag down to copy the formula for you into the subsequent areas. We can do the same with last name. An important thing to note about using this function is if you then delete the original data, unfortunately, that will break your values here. If you want to retain this information, but you want to dispose of this information, there's an easy way to do this. You select the information of the formulas, the result of the formulas, 
you copy and when you paste you want to paste the values only these will be the values rather than the formulas you can see how it changes here now Finally, as always, thank you for watching. That concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for more videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you liked this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel for all the latest updates.